All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures beta. Learn local storage by building a to-do app. Step 19. All right. So now we're going to create a P element and use template strings or the uh, embedded expressions to set its content to the title we destructured. Uh, right before the content of the P element, we're going to create a strong element with the text title. All right. So yeah, what we're doing right now is we're doing this thing right here. So let's uh, put a fake title in there, put a date, whatever, description, blah, 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 blah. All right. And what we're doing right now is we're making this little thing. The last one we made the ID. This thing right here now has the ID of the title right here, plus the date now, which is this, uh, which is the milliseconds. Remember the milliseconds thing after whatever date, 1970, 1970, pardon me. Uh, that's basically what the ID of that would be. All right. So let's come back over here and let's make this thing. So we're going to make the P first. We're going to open up the P, close the P. All right. And now we're going to, uh, <clears throat> let's do the strong first because I think it's maybe a little bit easier. Let's do the strong and the close strong. All right. And inside the strong, we're going to make this title. Okay. And that was that title that, uh, we saw on this one. <laughs> Let me just make it one more time. Lengthen out the video a little bit. Ah, sorry, guys. <laughs> anyway, this is this is in the strong uh, boldness, right? Not full bold, but medium bold, something like that, right? So in between here, we'll do title like that with the colon. So after the strong, that's where we're going to make this embedded expression. We'll do the dollar sign uh, with the uh, curly braces. And in this, we're going to do title, which is this title right here which is this title right here after this thing gets shifted, unshifted into this thing right here, right? So that's basically how that's working at the moment uh, because we're doing the task data, which is this thing dot for each. So basically that's what it is. And it's gonna make this thing right here, right? So we know, so now we know what's going on, uh, hopefully. Uh, let's check the code and this title right here is this right here, all right, just making sure. And it looks good and submitted. All right, now we're on to step 20 and we'll see you next time.